All right, Valerie Birch, we have, uh, let's just say some animals in front of us. Yeah. What are you all about? I like to take things that would otherwise be discarded and try to make them into something beautiful. So that's my main mission. Because you're an artist. Yes, yes. What is the art that you do? I try to use things that are going to be discarded for animal remains and kind of memorialize them and decorate them and create something that usually people would see this as gross or as garbage and something to be composted and buried. But I guess I'm trying to bring back the life into them and it kind of gives them more extending their life, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Let's, let's get even deeper. This is the skull of a fox. Of a fox. This is the skull of a coyote. Coyote. How did you get them in your hands? In my hands. These two particularly are from an ethical taxidermist. And you can find lots of them on Etsy. So these two are sourced from Etsy. If you look up ethical taxidermists, people who take roadkill or animals that they find and clean them. I want to get into this and, yeah. and what, paint a skull. That's yes. what we're doing, right? Yes. What utensils? Uh, we're all prepped here. How do? Where do we even begin? So, so we should start with the most yeah, important okay, let's part. Okay, start with our our paintbrush. Paint yes. Okay. Yes. So you can get these anywhere. These ones were a gift from my father. He got oh. me some model paintbrushes. That's nice. He believes in your passion. Yeah. I started off for us though. I got this. This is like a two-part epoxy putty to connect the stones to the skull. And we have two really shiny Labradorite pieces and a little druzy, so we'll be extra sparkly. Druzy? Yes. Is that a technical term? It's just a type of cab or stone. Nice. Usually they have a powder coating to make them all shiny. Dare I ask what animal this is? It's a coyote again. Here we go. Yes. Here we go with our coyote. All right, what's, um, where do we start? Do I, you know, do I put on an eyes and a nose or we're doing decorative, aren't we? Yes. How'd you come up with this whole idea? Uh, Damien Hirst, I don't know if you know who he is, he did the diamond skull. The idea of taking something so outrageous and making it into art was very cool to me. So I was like, what can I make that's outrageous but still beautiful? And someone said bones, and I rolled with it. <laughs> Why are we sitting in a credit union talking to you? So we're actually in Honor's very first connection center. So the room that we're in right now is available for anyone to use, which is really cool. They also host the Art Hop every Friday of the month. So I'll be back here in June for their Art Hop in June. All right, so you're ready to dip down. Yes. Usually I'll start with something simple. So on all of mine, I paint the teeth. So I thought I that we'd do go that. That's, with something that's simple, what I'll do. And we can paint the teeth. So I do dip a little bit in the paint thinner first. Okay, just, so yep. you go first. Yep. Paint thinner does what? So it just thins down the paint. This is very thick. Mm. As you can see, it's a little bit goopy. Okay. So it gives it a little bit more ease. Goopy, that's a technical term, oh, right? Yes. Yes. Very okay. important. All right. <laughs> All right. Teeth, uh, teeth work we go. Start. Yes. So it's as simple as that. Oh my gosh. The, you do need a little bit of a steady hand to go above the top. Oh, but I'm nervous. It'll be okay. Okay. All right. Good. Very good. And it's as simple as that. And you so, can even do the long pointy one if you want. Okay. To. I'm going to do the long pointy one. So yeah. I've got my thinner. And do I need to start up top and go no, down? You can start wherever your oh heart gosh. desires. Do I need a little bit more paint more on paint there? More paint, though. Yeah. OK. Wow. And if it drips, it's going to drip on the? Uh, on the paper, so we're golden, just like the paint. I, this <laughs> is really good. Shall we do the inside as well? Yes. Yep. I paint the outsides, and then I turn it over. Give me your big dream. My big dream, I think it would just to have a sustainable life for myself and my family through my art. I want to be able to have housing and you know, have wonderful food and experiences, but by doing my passion. So whether that's being in galleries or whether that's being here with you today or whether that's vending at artist alleys, I'm going to do it. We're going to do something a little bit more precarious. Let's do that. Paint the putty on there. We're so, Paint the putty? Yes, I start in the middle so that okay. it's not as anxiety inducing because okay, getting yeah. the edges I'm sometimes feeling. can feel a little, hmm. a little intense. Start there. And then when you get towards that, you can just kind of take it. Now, should I go on this side here? Go for it. Okay. The, uh, this, you called this putty. Tell me how this happened. How did you get this to stick? So this is a two-part epoxy. Um, people will use this in construction a lot and you just take it and mix it together real well and then I use any kind of 
you could hmm. use the end of your paintbrush if you wanted to okay. to make the little dents in it. Wow, does this one have a name? No. I do name some of them. I have a very large one that's like this big and I named him Big Boy because he's my big boy. <laughs> Thanks for your sharing your work with us. Thank you so much. It was wonderful to be here. So working with the lines, you can create tiny dots. Are we, just, are we keeping them as dots? Oh yes. Just follow the line and oh, this they is, don't have to be perfect. Okay, I was going to say, it's about I, am, enjoying I am yourself. really out of my comfort zone It's about now. the process. No judging? No, it's okay. about the I'm process. competitive. <laughs> Here we go. So boom, just kind of a dot. Perfect. Another dot? Yeah. I'm following your lead. Oop, that's a tiny dot. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Look Interesting. Look how that, yeah. I could be the next Val. We're an artist. <laughs> Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.